life we live in now, where everything is so uh, intense, is so fast, is so um, stressful, you know, like it can help every day and it can help anyone. It can help. It doesn't matter, like it doesn't matter age. It doesn't matter, like where the physical um, uh, fitness you have. It doesn't matter. Um, you, you know, everyone can can benefit from yoga nidra. I really find yoga nidra really, really useful in life, and I always recommend everyone to go and do yoga nidra because it's easy in a physical way. You don't have sitting you just lay down listen to someone's voice who is guiding you through this magic journey my first experience actually like I fall asleep for the maybe few times like first time and yeah for a few times but after a while like I realized that if you can uh, stay awake like be focused on the word uh, that you listen you can uh, like sort of you can relax yourself a lot uh, and this kind of recharge for your body as well i guess the first few times i did it i was sort of relatively tired so i'd end up probably just sleeping but then i sort of remember the first time i sort of had the real experience of sort of the mind being awake the body being asleep and yeah it's sort of one of those surreal experiences that's a bit hard to put words to but I went in the room and lay down and listened what the teacher was saying and and I felt like I was um, getting to sleep. Actually, I think I slept the first the first experience. I think I slept and I was talking about my experiences with other people and they were telling me, oh yeah, that's nice because actually you're pretty relaxed, but that's not the goal of yoga nidra. You can practice yoga nidra everywhere. It's a good way to stop your your daily activities. Uh, because normally when you are living, you are hurry everywhere or thinking, your, your mind is busy. So uh, it's like you are with this rhythm, slowly stop and relax 30 minutes. Just be aware of that relaxation and then everything's changed and you can continue doing the things that you're doing. Sometimes uh, if um, I dream, like, uh, yeah, I dream, but I sort of stay awake as well and so I like see images uh, about my thought uh, but it's, it's not like really sleeping. Yoga Nidra for me, sometimes I wake up from Yoga Nidra or I don't wake up because I'm watching myself not being awake or being awake but going to sleep and not going into sleep so I go out from this stage it's a kind of you wake yourself from being awake in a different state of mind and this brings you energy and focus and and it's like you've been sleeping, but you know, didn't, you didn't sleep at all. After my first practice, I feel something different. It's like you are floating, you are like totally relaxed. And yeah, it's like a, when you have a really deep and good sleep, uh, you feel like that. You, you can feel your energy like totally relaxed, but more energy. Especially in this sort of, like this whole unconscious sort of state you, you're sort of rarely exposed to it and sometimes you'll just get these sort of flash, flashes of images and like similar to what you'd have in a dream and um, this is pretty you know it's really amazing and then in likewise when you're dreaming you, you sort of become more conscious of it and it, it sort of works both ways and uh, yeah there's this sort of deeper layer, layer of your mind you sort of slowly get exposed to just little bit by little bit feel that you're working towards something that it's really, really important to you and you can begin after practice that something is changing and that's amazing. <laughs> it can be used for everyone. It's relaxation, it's awareness, it's um, getting within, yeah, in yourself and that, um, um, get in touch with the that um, inner self, you know? You can like try to know better yourself as well. I think this is the like most important that you can have from Yoga Nidra. When you practice Yoga Nidra, there's someone that is saying all the time to you, what do you have to do? And just hear that, concentrate, concentrate, 
relax and be open to the practice and enjoy it. The teacher brings you to a state of where you actually focus on different part of yourself. Then this is the support and you are the tool to go for it and to see to see yourself reacting when you put energy on the part of your body and, and being half asleep. So you can enjoy it's good for focus and awareness. If you really get connected with the voice and you listen to it, you can start to feel um, everything uh, moving in your body. Prana is the our vital energy and the yoga nidra was uh, based on prana. And I felt my prana just going through all throughout my body. And it was very powerful, very powerful. I just felt each cell on my body, you know, filling up with prana. And it just makes you realize how, how powerful we are, how strong, how amazing being we are. It's not simple to not fall asleep, but it's simple to lay down. So in the old yoga, there's many practices, and some practices are pretty simple. Asana practices could be simple, but it's all about the awareness you put on the actions that makes the work. But it's just half an hour, you can like record the voice uh, and just lay down somewhere, like everywhere, and uh, try to listen to the voice and relax yourself. Also, just for this, it's good. It's just 30 minutes, it's a short session, and you can practice that all day. I don't know if you can do it more than once in the same day, uh, but you can feel immediately the effects because it's a really deep practice. The benefit, it can come straight away. You don't need to wait a long, you know, a long time or a long period of time. You can have it straight away after the first class, you know, and then have a peace of mind that is heaven, you know. The moment that you're still in your mind, you can perform better in all ways, in all ways. So like you can think better, you can um, exercise better, you can work better, you can sleep better. That's energy. Sleep is energy. You need to fill up with energy when you're sleeping. That's the main thing of why people sleep. Some people like their bed, but they just like their bed, so they wake up and they're still tired. So yeah, you can enjoy it. This is, this is the practice of, of sleep, basically, you know, awareness of sleep. This one, that's my opinion. Never uh, think that you can mix yoga, relaxation and meditation. That's it's really interesting to me because I have been practicing meditation for a while. So yoga nidra is, uh, if I return to my country, Chile, I would like to keep practicing that because it's new for me mix all that in just one practice. Viva Yoga Nidra! <laughs>